Hello everybody, this is Chaos with Thunderdog Esports bringing you game number two of tonight's Top Dog League. We've got Infinity Gaming going up against Micro Gamers and spawning in the upper right hand corner here on Habitation Station, it is going to be Infinity Gaming's Epic Damente. Take it away. His opponent in the top left for Micro Gamers, another Terran player. It is Noblis. Oh, Noblis. Noblis. So, go. PVT, Habitation Station. This should be fun. Uh, I like this map. This map is... I've seen some pretty epic games on this map. How about you? Uh, yeah. There's been... This map definitely doesn't, you know, weaken in that uh, area. It definitely has all kinds of weird strategies that come that can come down, you know, just having the gold. Mm, and it looks like we've got some lag from Atlas. Hopefully that will uh, get taken care of shortly. Come on, we want to get on with this game. Uh, while I'm... Okay, yes, everything is good. So, first off, I do want to apologize for last game and all the nonsense shenanigans that whatever either my computer or Twitch or whatever was going on... Sorry for the delay. And we're back in it. Awesome. So yeah, PVT. Uh, what are your thoughts uh, strategies on this map? On this map? Um, uh, a lot of different things can be viable. Uh, you can try and mech on this map. I don't know. I don't really like mecking versus Protoss anyways, but I have a guy that I know who loves to mech versus Protoss, and I don't know how in the world he wins ever. But... Bio will probably be the standard style here. Just and it looks like it's gonna be a Reaper opening either way, which is decent on this map as well. There's not a whole lot of jump space, but you know, Reaper is standard in TVP anyways. I'd say I would say in most matchups, Reaper is kind of you know, Reaper opening tends to be the it, most favored opening, I would say. Granted I'm not a yeah, Terran definitely. player, so <laughs> Yeah, I'm not either. I know as a as a Zerg player and a Protoss player, I hate when Reapers come because especially if they're microed well, they're annoying to deal with, and they scout all your information. So if you're trying to hide something, yeah, don't think you're actually going to hide anything from that Reaper. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see um, if Nob Noblis uh, goes for something a little bit different from what we saw from Legend. Um, he is going to be walling off his main just to keep that information away from Mr. Demante. And so far, pretty. S okay, so what are your thoughts on the single gas? You know, usually you would see, you know, I'd say pretty pretty commonly you see a two gas opening uh, pretty much from in any matchup in PV anything. So. Yeah, um, you know, when I play Protoss, I go with, you know, 13 gateway, 15 gas. Which I think is pretty standard uh, for everyone, and that's it. Kind of opens the door to all kinds of different tech possibilities. One gas, though, uh, could mean that he just wants that extra mineral. He wants to get that faster expansion up and just kind of try and play macro from here. But, I don't know. Novelist is a tough player to try and macro against. But yeah. he's going to put on some aggression here. Yeah, now... The only the only thing is is he did delay his uh, his warp gate research significantly, I would say. You know, it wasn't until about uh, thirty or forty seconds after that was done before the you know the was already out before he started uh, his warp gate. So that's going to delay his you know any any type of major aggression uh, on Noblis. Granted, Noblis is kind of already ready for any type of aggression with that bunker. <laughs> yeah, it, it seems here that all that. Uh Demente is going to try and do here is he's just going to maybe try and pick up the Splitey, but which he's actually doing a pretty good job at. Uh, the SCP is going to have pulled in with the four Marines popping. That stalker's got to get out of here. Yeah, so a little bit of harassment done, but overall nothing nothing too crazy. Now we do we did have that Reaper go in and get a little bit more scouting information. Uh, did scout the uh, the extra gas going down, so he knows that he's not going to be dealing with any type of like four gate or anything like that. Um, but we'll have to see tech-wise. So we do have a robo going down. Kind of pretty typical. Yeah, one gate robo. Getting that expansion up. He's just, he's playing for the long haul here. And no! 
that would just be just gonna get that stalker out of there. Yeah, just barely losing that stalker, especially this early on, uh, is definitely gonna be a little bit of a problem. And it actually does look like Nautilus wants to go ahead and push push out. Um, the Nexus should be up in time, though. I think I think overall he will be in an okay position to defend this. Obviously, you can throw down that uh, photon overcharge as soon as that finishes, and things should be a okay with that. So. Yeah, th this push here reminds me a lot of uh, Brutes Masa. I saw him in uh, in a team lead just last week. He actually took down pretty much an entire team with this, like three Protoss in a row, with this kind of build, just this constant aggression at the front with Widow Mines and Marines, and just kind of macroing up behind it. Yeah, uh, Widow Mine is actually already out. Um, it is in range of that Photon Overcharge one. No, uh, just barely not getting picked off. <laughs> Uh, I think, yeah, he's just going to kind of sit at the bottom of the ramp, hope he can kind of force something to the bottom and do something with that. You see Twilight Council and the Forge, and Forge here, not going to go double Forge, that'd be a little little crazy at this point, but yeah, I, I don't Forge is a safe move. Yeah, I think I think he doesn't feel too terribly safe, just because he knows he's got um, a bunch of units sitting out at the front of his base. Um, I'll be curious to see whether or not he chooses to go ahead and continue on teching up to uh, Colossus. I mean, he really isn't focusing on getting out any units. Uh, he's only got the one gate worth of support, and he's not warping in anything. I'm really surprised, because, I mean, I, you know, oh. with this dr drop coming in, it's going to be really hard to defend this at this point. Yeah, one... Uh, he does have enough for a Photon Overcharge in the main. Will he use it is the good question here. There is a cannon out though, and oh, the, the probes! Oh my god! That! Kills. That! That was a that was a very nice drop, and um, with no Photon... Like, that was just... That was just... I, I can't I believe that just that happened. Was, that was a scared move there. That's the tough thing with these drops, is the Marines drop... All the stalkers sitting there, everybody's running around, you might not see that widow mine burrow. And then bam, there goes 14 probes gone, and now here comes the Terran force and he is just crushing through here. Yeah, folks on Arch overcharge will go down, but it looks like uh Noblis just kinda wants to go straight in and uh, GG. Wow. That was a very Noblis quick game. Dismantling his opponent right there. That was